Not long ago, I made this monstrosity. There's, it brings me such joy, but there's more where that came from, and that's what this video is about. Now, this video is sponsored by Anycubic, who have sent me the Cobra Max, and I saw the print bed size, I thought, you know what, could fit on that. My original bit set, I had claws, shoulders and other stuff. But to do it with the shoulders, it was gonna be a little bit more work because in the bust, there's all this fur covering the edges of the shoulders. The detail of the edges of the shoulders nearest the head doesn't actually exist. So we had to create that. And with them dissected and detail added through ZBrush and Blender, it was time to get them printed. And the beautiful part was it all gets done in one print. But after two weeks of 3D printing, I have my giant detailed shoulders ready to remove the supports. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, this is ridiculous. The only thing I'm a little concerned is, is I've sort of got to plan ahead because on my space bears, they all have this like hood cowl thing. Like last time, this fur was actually from like a, a cute little teddy bear that I found at a shop. And the problem is I'd need to find something quite similar, but a lot bigger. Come in. Uh, no, actually, actually, I haven't seen them. Uh, but I mean, if you want, if you've got time to kill, why don't you come hang out and, and tell me about your friend? Yeah, pull up a seat and just chill. Well, I mean, I'm just getting stuck into the details now. Do you want to check out the details there? Yeah, it's, it's turned out really cool. If you want to give me help, I know exactly where I can put you to use. It's okay. Sorry, don't worry. It's all right. You'll, uh, you'll be joining your friends soon. There she is, uh, my uh, my lovely assistant with her with the cork cadaver, uh, lovely fluffy bear fur. Yeah, that's what we want. The problem to solve now that I need your help with Amy <laughs> is to make it wearable. Divide and conquer, because oh. I have a paint job to do. So just like last time, I do a base coat of all of my pieces in a putty primer. This is actually an automotive spray paint and it's really good for filling in those layer lines that are fairly inevitable when filament 3D printing, but also not too obvious and pretty easy to mask with a simple technique like this. Then slapping on a coat of glossy black enamel paint, this will again give it a really strong sturdy exterior coat and something that my other paints can grip to. What options you got for us here? What better option if you're carrying something on your shoulders than a baby carrier? I love that so much. This is perfect! Yes! Oh my God, we That's can- That's so secure. So good, and it's just the arms, yep, and, just and this keeps it from off. splitting. Oh my God, you're a genius! Now let's add some color. This is where it gets really exciting and really nice looking. Now obviously I'm using all the same paints and steps that I did with my claw video. And just like that video, I did all of the basing in the red with automotive spray paints. There is something about that shiny, speckly, really high gloss and sharp finish that is amazing. Then moving on to the brassy gold accents around the shoulders with my Citadel miniature paints, the same paint that I paint my tiny space bears with. Just, I mean, technically it's the same pieces of armor that I'm painting, they're just life size. This is so weird and cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, Amy was there keeping me company and hanging out and working on the fur, which would wrap around the neck piece of the shoulders and help tie in that bearish aesthetic. Now there are a couple of pieces that needed to be added to the setup to finalize it, including two sort of pauldron ring things and a chain. But just like the shoulders, this is a pretty straightforward step when you've got an awesome 3D printer. Oh look, our print's done. I literally haven't even had to look at these or think about them. I love 3D printing, <laughs> which is why I'm so excited this video is brought to you by Anycubic and the brand new Cobra Max. The brand new Anycubic Cobra Max 3D filament printer has a massive print volume of 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 45 centimeters. That's huge, I mean. 
I was all in one print. You can get it on Amazon for only $599 or from the official Anycubic store and other outlets for only $569. That's insane. And in the past, if I wanted to do something like this, I would have to split the print up into multiple pieces to piece together later. With this bed size, I don't have to do that. I can do it all in one go. On top of that, the Anycubic LeviQ auto leveling system makes automatic leveling super easy. It's super reliable and super detailed because it has two Z axis rods behind here and two Y axis rods, meaning it has two anchor points upon every movement to make everything super reliable and the print super detailed. We've been using this for obviously the last few weeks to get this project happening and I'm in love. Check it out, links are in the description and a huge thank you to Anycubic for sponsoring this video and making this project possible and so simple. Now we've got to figure out how to make the mechanism work. I think the first thing is we need to sort of fill out this a little mm -hmm. bit so it's going to mount easier. Using contact adhesive and foam, I pat it out inside the shoulders just to give it a little bit of lift and have it sit in the right sort of way on my shoulders. And then using the same contact adhesive to the baby carrier that we brutalized and then smothering that in hot glue. I'm fairly sure it will hold maybe hopefully i've never done this before so any cosplayers out there just don't look too closely <laughs> slapped a couple of coats of paint on my other little props and it was time to actually start putting this thing together Now, it's pretty apparent that the shoulders at this stage look like giant shiny toys. They look pretty plasticky, but with three simple steps, I can take it from this to epic and it'll look just the same as the claw. Step one, a matte spray varnish. This pulls all of the shine out and gives it a much flatter look. It deadens the colors a little bit, which also reduces the vibrancy. Step two, streaking grime. This is an enamel wash. I mix in a little bit of something else called rust streaks. My formula is three parts streaking grime to one part rust streaks to add a little bit of warmth, slathering this all over it and then giving it a light little wash and dab with white spirits to have it wash into the recesses and clear up some of the surface areas. This is basically like rubbing dirt over the whole thing but in a way that's going to actually stick and look permanent and add a lot of grit. And last but not least, when everything is dry, a light dry brush in a sharp silver to give it that wear and tear and a really epic outcome. It's actually happening. We are in the home stretch. We have all of the pieces and it's time to literally nip and tuck, trim and glue and everything comes together. And I am so stupid excited about this. <laughs> Why am I such a child? God damn it, this is so fun. All right, the time that you've all been waiting, mainly that I've been waiting for. Let's gear up. All right. You in? I'm in. Yeah, I can rock this. I can. All right, cape time. Cape, can we? Okay, this is what I want. I need my flappy cape. Do I look epic? How about now? Yes, okay, now you do. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, you know what this means? Time to scare some toddlers. Hey, that's a great idea. We should take this out in public. All right, two things, epic reveals. Come next, then we'll, go, then we'll go for a road trip. All right, epic reveal time. Can you make me look epic? Yes. <laughs> Sick. Let's go.
I think that looked pretty epic, he said, assuming Gareth's going to do a great job in post. It's going to be fine. Thank you so much for all your help. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. <laughs> Amy, you're amazing. This wouldn't be possible without your help. I feel like we've got to sort of keep going, which might involve maybe the helmet. Shield. There's so much we could do. But I think to power any and all of that, we need more bear souls. Let's go shopping. To the car. I've decided that's my voice, I guess. Just as the Emperor feeds on the souls of psychers, I feed on the souls of innocent, fluffy teddy bears. Greetings. Where are your bears? Our bears. Your fluffy bears. Down this way. Thank you very much. Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. All right. We'll turn them off. I have acquired a bear. I have also been told I cannot film on the premises. So we shall head to the shop for the rejected. Open. Bunnies, no. Ducks, no. Bunnies and monkeys, nothing. I think I've spotted the bears. Bears, I come to bring you salvation. <laughs> Just th th don't, that's cheating. Thank no, thank you. Okay. There you go. Yes, you, you're a good one. I will take all of your small bears. I don't want your tigers or lions. Just bears. Oh my. <laughs> yes. I have acquired all of the bears in this vicinity. I can barely hold. All of bears. I am harvesting the souls of bears. That's good. You are much more friendly than the people over in the other building. They were not so keen on it. I don't know what there isn't to be keen about. I have acquired bears! And I will take them home with me. <laughs> the door may close. Gently. Is there space? I think so. Yes. I have acquired bear souls. Smash that like button if you would like to see me turn them into more fairy, fancy armor things. It's such a cool project. You're making it uncool. That's what I do, Gareth. <laughs> I hope you guys have had fun. Honestly, if you want to see me do more, do all those things. I'll have the bears to get the journey started. But to actually go on that journey is a big commitment and you've got to make it worth it for me. So let me know you want it. Otherwise, that's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.